the Engineering Developmental Assistance Program first started in, in 2009 in conjunction with NC State. One of the best things about the program is it allows the engineering training people to come in there and actually get the opportunity to do the job. They are treated basically just like an incoming engineer straight out of college and they actually get the opportunity to do the same types of tasks and same type of work as well as given an opportunity for some of the local students to be able to get a degree and stay closer to home. They come in and they get the experience up front while they're going to school they're getting experience at doing the job so when they graduate they are actually a year or two ahead of the normal graduate coming in that's straight out of college. The program is basically open to anybody who is enrolled in an engineering program here locally. There are requirements for that program. You have to be completed with Calculus 1, Chemistry 1, Physics 1, Introduction to Engineering and Statics to be eligible for the EDAP program itself and you have to be enrolled in an engineering program. At this point, the only ones that we've had have been enrolled in the NC State program and one with ECU. Started going to school at NC State and uh, during that process, uh, heard about the EDAP program and uh, some of the people talking about it kind of started looking more into it and uh, thought it would be a good way to uh, get some job experience as well as um, help uh, serve the fleet. Getting to work with aircraft uh, every day. Um, I do something new every single day. I've learned something new every single day. There's a lot of stuff that I've learned. I'm uh, going to school for mechanical engineering. I don't have any aerospace background. When I started, I had no experience with aircraft engines or really engines in general. I've enjoyed what I'm doing. I'm learning a lot and uh, there's a lot of opportunity here. There's not just one set thing. There's really countless jobs, opportunities here. Multiple things are good with that. The students stay local. You get a lot of people that are coming straight out of high school that are coming in straight into the program. That's roughly about half of the people that we have coming in right now. The other half are non-traditional students, which are uh, ex-military that are staying in the area and deciding that they would like to get an engineering degree. I was a Marine prior to this. Um, I was actually a Marine Raider and a sniper up at Camp Lejeune. Did that for about nine years, got medically retired. I was looking at all the different things that I could do um, and I kind of decided on engineering was what I wanted to do. Wanting to go to NC State, I found out about this program down in Havelock and it meant a couple of things. One, that I wouldn't have to move, I could commute, and it also was almost a guaranteed job into this EDAP program. Uh, so I looked into that heavily and found out it was a perfect fit for me. I get to go to school and I get a job and experience while I'm in school. We've had some very qualified vets come through here. Some that have worked aviation and some that have uh, just worked on even, even stuff like tanks that have come in. I was in boot camp during 9-11. Uh, shortly after that, of course, I graduated boot camp. I came straight here to Cherry Point. Uh, I was an airframer, so I worked on hydraulics, landing gear, sheet metal, uh, stuff like that, flight controls. And I really enjoyed it. I loved uh, troubleshooting the aircraft, you know, figuring out what was wrong with it when it came back and uh, getting it back out there. So I like how closely related this job is to that in that not only do I support the fleet, but all the other shops, the mouths, and of course the FRC East artisans here. Uh, a lot of times they don't need simple instructions, they need something that's not already covered in the manual, so we get to go sort of behind the scenes and figure out how to fix it when there's no prior instructions for that. We've had local teachers who have gotten into the program and gone back to school after teaching for numerous years and getting their engineering degrees. I was teaching full time during the day, taking classes at night and that was a lot so I don't know that I would have been able to finish my four-year degree with engineering and still been able to teach and so by getting accepted into EDAP it was a great opportunity. It allowed me to make a living, but at the same time, get experience here while I was getting my classes done. We've hired probably 90% of the people that have graduated from the program from state here in town. From a retention standpoint, it's a great program, but they come in, they know the job, they know what they're getting ready to do. The time that they're in the program counts towards their retirement, it counts towards benefits. So they, they, as I said, they start out ahead of time to start with, but the experience that they get while in the program is the most crucial part of it because it allows them to come in with a head above a lot of the people coming in and generally they were able to progress quicker based on that. Since the program was uh, started back in 2009, we've actually hired 23 people through the program so far and of that 23, 20 are still here. So our retention rate among that has been great. Um, even currently, we've got 11 people currently in there. You know, three people are getting ready to graduate this year, but even the upcoming season, we've already made offers to 
I think, believe it's nine more to in, enter the program this year. So it's become a major part of our recruiting process for both interns and for full-time employees down the road. So I expect it's going to be even more critical to our future growth here and getting the locally qualified students that are going to stay.